Welcome to episode 5 of Resident Evil Light Pacifist. I have been a little bit absent uh, from, me, from this channel and these videos because I have just gotten over COVID about a week ago. And I could not breathe long enough. Like, I could breathe, but I could not breathe long enough in order to talk all the time they needed to make these videos. Now, instead of me making some grand intro, I'm gonna let past me do it. Because apparently, past me did uh, did an intro on this and said something cool. So I'll, I'll hop back in when I need to. Episode whatever it is of Resident Relate Pacifist, I lost count. So we just um, got done with Moreau's section. Uh, so I'll, I'll go back down here. Oh yeah, if you're asking for where Louisa's husband is, he's right there. This is Louisa's husband. This is, um, yeah, it's just, it's, uh, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. But if you remember from last time, we just got done and finished with Moreau. Unfortunately, we could not actually kill him. Or, unfortunately, we couldn't trick him into killing himself. So we had to kill him, adding another one onto her running total. There is a potentiality for someone to use an out of bounds. Because you already have the flask I before you fight Moreau. So, unless Capcom coded it that you have to kill Moreau in order for Heisenberg to appear on the TV and everything else, um, then you could potentially use Out of Bounds to skip killing Moreau, but I don't think it's going to work like that. Anyway, I'll let Pass Me pick it back up, so I have to do less work. We came out to see these signs, which are pointing us to the stronghold that Heisenberg mentioned on the tape. This way, Papa. It actually amazes me, like, so much of this game, you can actually just run past and despawn, like, the wolf that's in this area right here. Rose is waiting for you. Did I ever grab this? No, I didn't. Okay. The show must go on. Hey. Hey. Okay. Wait, isn't there ammo there? Um, that might only be in mercenaries mode. So here we go. Who builds stuff like this? And whatever. That direction is Otto's Mill. And then nothing. Okay. So I know this section can be done without killing anybody. We're At the very least, I'm very confident it can be. Switching to the pistol here because I think I can shoot them and do not back without killing them, hopefully. They just throw the bow and bow. Yeah, they just throw the bow away.
Of course. If you're wondering how I can get away with shooting people in a pacifist challenge that I am not required to kill, I am using the same type of philosophy as Batman. I am not killing them. I am maybe giving them brain damage. I might be breaking their arms. I might be putting them on life support for the rest of their life, but their life is still being supported. They are not dying. That shot wouldn't have killed them anyway. Here, let me see. One headshot, shot, yeah, that doesn't do anything. Okay. Then, gone. Where, did they actually despawn or did they just... Okay, they're still there. Alright. Oh yeah, that's not static, it's just the 10 million birds up there. And get a little pipe bomb. Oh. Yeah, that's right. But you're only two spaces, too. What? I don't understand how inventories can get this way. Yeah, just... Never mind about the pipe bomb. It's fine. I got infinite grenades. That I'm... Not supposed to be used in any way, I guess, yeah? This part right here can be done this without killing be anybody. Because in the speedruns, you just run past everyone anyway. Okay, I fell down. Oh my lord. Oh, actually good. RNG, I got the dude that's usually over here camping to jump down. So you're actually going to see me shoot that big guy. This is, it was supposed to stun him. Didn't work, obviously. Yeah, you see, Ethan just like, just phases right through all that, just clips right through it. I'm not gonna have any space for you either. This is so stupid. Alright. Now heading into your eyes here, there's nothing I can do, so I have to kill him. So I think I actually Shit. killed him a while ago up there, but he can't die when he's up there, so 
it both did and didn't do all the damage as I was doing on Wow. You kidding me? Might as well have been aiming for nothing. Or I wasn't aiming, but you know what I mean. In exchange what? First of all, come to me. Put all the flasks in the altar, and I'm sure you'll figure the rest out. See you, Ethan. God damn it. Right here, I do this weird thing where I go back to see if I can go back up and out the stronghold. I don't know why. Um, I wanted to do this. You can't do it anyway. As you can see right here, you drop down and you can't get back up. Apparently, Ethan doesn't know how to climb. Anyway, from this point on, it's just a short walk back through the village and over to the altar. What am I pointing at? A short walk back to the village and to the altar where we can put the flax in and then head off to the factory. I'll save you the time and just skip to that. Okay, so I think what that shakiness was... Who builds this shit? Hold on, it's gonna be right there. No, it isn't. The factory's this direction. Right there. I'm confident. So confident, I'm gonna stand right here. And enjoy my two minute elevator sequence. Just clips right through the bricks and everything, man. I'm so confident it's gonna be right here that if it's not, the video ends. Well, just get your ass across the bridge. Rolls are rolls. Welcome to 
the factory episode of Heisenberg. I mean, <laughs> the Heisenberg episode of Resident Evil Pacifist. Last time I said that if this one, if I made the wrong choice of which wall it was, the video was ending, and I am a man of my word. But me, editing Dalton, is not a man of his word. I've never noticed that before, because I usually don't- I, they're, they're going together as the same video. I don't see a good reason to, um, don't worry about put the, the stronghold in the factory in different episodes. So here we are. Get your ass across the bridge. Welcome. I didn't think you'd make it past Donner Monroe. Monroe. But I suppose you survived worse back in America. I like you. I'd like to speak hey, it's a tank. to you about Rose and Miranda. Oh, come on. Don't worry. It's, it's not, not a trap. trap. What are you planning? I don't know why I'm picking up gunpowder. The only gun here that doesn't have infinite ammo in it is the um, sniper. What the hell? Mia? Truth hurts, don't you? <sighs> Let me guess. You're thinking you take me out like the others, and then he gets going save Rose, right? I'm healing my daughter. Look, you, you, you got the soul wrong. It's a mental. Shut your fucking hole! I'm sorry about that. Take a seat. Listen, Ethan, you're being played. What are you talking about? You think this is a game? I said shit! <laughs> Lady, super-sized bitch! Ugly ass psycho doll. And then we're freak. Why is everyone so mean to Moreau? I don't get it. Everyone's calling him a freak. Everyone's calling him pathetic. This has to stop. I don't want to be a part of Miranda's family. Neither did I, but here we are! And I'm next in line, right? Kill me, move up the chain, well fuck them! I don't give a damn about your personal issues. I just want to fix my daughter. <laughs> so do I. Do you have any idea how powerful a kid is? Even Miranda's scared of her. Last time, you freak! I swear to God! You and me, Ethan. Together, we can go save Rogues, and we can use her to grind Miranda into paste. Oh, this is sure. He's definitely going to say yes. I mean, Ethan would be insane to uh, to say no in this situation. <laughs> My daughter is not a weapon. Fuck you. <laughs> Last chance. You don't want to find out what's in that hole. I'll take my chances. You're a fucking idiot! You're a funeral. Fingers on this shot, like there's something here, and see Ethan even shoots at it, but I don't, I don't see anything here. I don't know what he's shooting at or what I'm supposed to be running from, but I run nonetheless. Okay.
Okay. So this right here is uh, Sturm. I believe his name is. It, is he having trouble? There he is. Okay. He is actually is for what I could think of right now. I think the only other required kill in the factory other than Heisenberg himself. So coming out of the factory, we should only have two counts at it. I don't know why we had to do a button prompt to climb up the ladder. We just, that is how they did it. It's like a Batman game. I would love to make a Batman joke going through that vent, but we all know I'm going to make an Among Us joke instead. This place is messed up. I've got to get upstairs. I contemplated taking the factory segment out of my video entirely because the factory is so sequential, but I don't know. I might just let past me take the take the reins here. Oh yeah, what I was gonna say a while ago. There was a big uh, ship slash theory in the community that Heisenberg had a uh, a thing for Ethan, and while worry not, you can buy it back if you like. Thing is, you let me know if you find anything, anything else of value. I'm the shipper here, so. There's two guys right here. Just gotta bob and weave. Bob and weave. Uh, I remember hating the factory on Village of Shadows difficulty. Gonna grab the door. You. Did he do this too? Hey, it works. That doesn't kill you, does it? No, okay. <laughs> He's stuck in there. Okay. I don't think they've ever followed me down here. Of course, there's those ones in there. Seems useful. My eyes can't read. Or what? 
Are you kidding me? You don't have to be right on that in order to hit it. I'm usually way better at this. Okay. There's the final one. Give me. I hit it. I uh, I had to Yeah I did. I don't know what was wrong with my frickin' aim there. Oh guys look another van, haha, -ha. acting sus Sussy Baka, haha. -ha. I need to go get the crank mode. There is a part later where I can't um, just do that. I don't know if pausing there was necessary. There's a part later where I can't just be doing that. Because I think the Soldat guys are sh are weaker than one grenade shot. Let's hey, let's find out. No, it stuns them. Okay. Are you kidding me? You put the crank in. Did you? Oh my God. Listen, sir. Well, Ethan, you think? Just maybe, yeah, you think you can use it? Throughout this whole part, it just seems like Heisenberg has tricked us into making more of his machines. I don't know why I got stuck on there. Such a disappointment. I thought we could join forces against that bitch Miranda. Miranda. Truly, truly disappointing. Oh, of course they can go through that. Imagine so Resident Evil 8 I need enough power with um, the one hit KO mod for Grand Theft Five. These are the I mean, fruits of my power. That might—I don't the mean to talk over. The weak. That's the way of the world. Yeah, I knew that I actually need to go this parts Because he can even attack you right here in this cutscene
doing this challenge on regular new game is very possible. Got a long way to go. But it is um very boring. You could shoot them off later when you get the tank. You can probably shoot them off here too. But uh, seeing how far they have to fall, and I don't even know if they can swim, wouldn't be very pacifist of me, would it? Miranda thinks we're hey, so something happened here, I guess, when I was recording this on the PlayStation. Or maybe I uploaded it, the footage wrong. But there's a huge, and I mean huge gap, between what was last recorded there and what's recorded after. I probably hit like and the hour recording limit and then re only realized it later so because that happens a lot because i'm using the playstation's built-in capture system which only lets you record up to an hour at a time and most of the time i don't stop recording which actually causes a lot of complications when i think i'm recording but i'm not you'll he, you'll find out on me if I ever upload the other Subnautica playthroughs. None of that. How much of that didn't record? I really want to be close as possible there. I don't know if it's possible to get closer than that, or if it really matters Shit. to get closer that than close. that. Because, like, let's say the blades are right here. If you get, like, right here, you could probably still shoot it. Um, I don't really know if it saves time, really, is what I'm saying. But you're not speedrunning. I know. I know. Alright, let's do this thing. So I have another level to climb before I get to any boss fight that I have to actually kill. Am I do- I'm doing the narration. You know what, screw it, I'll do the narration here, so I won't have to do a narration during editing. Soon, she'll start her ceremony with your rose. If that happens, it's all over for your kid and for the whole village. But don't worry. I'll stop, stop it. it. I'll use, use ropes, ropes to kill Miranda. Miranda. <laughs> Poor Papa. You're the only one who doesn't, doesn't see, see your, your kid's, kid's power. power. Take Rose. Rose? <laughs> I'd like to I'd see, like you, to see try. you try. So we need the Heisenberg's key for this one, a key we just picked up. So I'm going to pull the elevator. Because you can't go directly back, I don't think. Actually, let's see. Let's see if I can backtrack down to, uh, well, I won't be able to backtrack down to the second level. Where the elevator would have been. Oh, that's right, I can't go back through there. So they do force you to use the elevator. That's kind of cringe. If I wanted to backtrack all that way, I should have been able to. But whatever. It's a game, it does what it wants. I'm trying to speak clearly, but I don't know, it might come out smudged as it always have. 
I don't have that accent. I don't know why it keeps coming out. Well, I do have a British character, so even though as bad as that accent is, I do have something I could justify it with. It's just that I pressed the wrong button. It's just the character coming out. Now that I've actually pressed the right one, it's not a far drop. Just right here. Yep. Okay. It's dark. It's dark. So funny thing about me. Um. Haha. -ha, I have night. I have nyctophobia, which is a fear of overwhelmingly dark spaces so I would prefer to spend as little possible little time as possible in this section that is possible I mean do I go get the ball mode Are they still shooting off fireworks? I'm filming this on... What is it? July 5th? Maybe, uh, July 5th. Check. Cue him. Handgun ammo. I don't need handgun ammo. What is that piece? Where's the ball mode? Mold. I thought I got it here. What? Oh no, that's this way. Duh. I'll get the ball mode. I'll do the ball puzzle. This is really the only ball puzzle I do. That's the sh that's the mechanical part. Sh okay. Oh, I remember where the ball mode was. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going back all that way. I don't think I can go back all that way now, but... Oh, hey guys, you want to see something funny? Like, totally hilarious? Yeah, my controller disconnecting. That's real funny, huh? What? Okay, the door. Phew. I don't know about shooting those guys. dead are you no okay wake up
Well, I did grab both parts of this. As you wish. Now, this is something to splurge on. A good deal. If I say so myself. Okay. You really are a tough one. So so far I think we've been able to manage maintain. Time to die. You can hear it, can't you? Someone waiting for you. Is he bugged? Hello? This is uh, not good. Going back to the Magnum, obviously. There it is. That's it. Now, I don't see anything that I could have killed, but I guess I'll add it to the count anyway. Miranda is abominable. Her deceit knows no bound. We're merely a bunch of frail, condole experiments to her. I was just lucky I had more affinity to the stuff than the other poor schmucks in the village. So she still calls me her son. What a joke! I'll never forgive her for what she did to me. That crazy bitch has never been right in the head. She can't see a difference between experiment and family. Miranda didn't just change her, my body. She took my dignity. If I don't kill her, then my life will never be my own. Still, she may be crazy, but she's also powerful. She could turn into anyone using the Mega My Seat. The trick is that brat, Rose. If I could access her power, then maybe. Speaking of the kid's dad, Ethan has a pretty interesting body himself. Maybe I could get him to help me out. Interesting body, eh? Do I ship Heisenberg and Ethan? I don't know, maybe. Maybe in an alternate reality where they actually did team up. Like, how cool would it have been? Like, you team up with Heisenberg, you go do all this, all this stuff. You defeat uh, Miranda with him, and then you turn on him, or then he turns on you there, and then after. Someone should write that fanfic. Like, everything still happens the same. Except for, uh... Looks like I'm finally getting out of here. Except for... The only difference is... That you team up with Heisenberg back there. You go with him to Miranda. To Miranda. And then... The double cross happens, or then the betrayal happens, or whatever. What the? <laughs> not bad, not bad, Jersey. You're persistent, but I've got a rebellion. So stay out of my way. Huh. <sighs> 
That bastard. Damn, Damn it again. again. Why do I hear Chris tells Ethan that he killed Mia so Ethan would have no more distractions in furthering his goal, which is furthering the red flood the Redfield bloodline. Bullshit! All right, ready to go to one of my least favorite fights of the whole game. I absolutely hate this fight, Metal polymer composite. especially I'm on higher difficulties such as Hardcore or Village of Shadows. I hate this fight with a blinding I'm passion. Coming. Oh crap, I gotta remember not to shoot at any of them. I've never been able to actually make it. Like, ac actually hit any of them. But... Is this the same... Elevator? Oh, I hate it when the tank does this shit. Like, so, make, it's so, why does it do this? Just drive where I want you to. Oh my god. The fight with Heisenberg goes exactly how you would expect on easy difficulty, meaning that it was... Easy, so, so somewhat so difficult. I do want to say this fight is absolute cancer on Village of Shadows difficulty. It it made me pretty much lose my sanity, and eventually we are left with no other option than to kill him. Oh, hey, that was some pretty nice fireworks right there. Damn it. Ethan? I heard explosions. What the hell happened? I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Ethan? Rose? Ethan! Ethan, respond! After killing Heisenberg, Ethan is visited by Miranda herself. Our child. This should go good. She's so important, isn't she? Miranda does lots of things. Like here, she makes she tells Ethan that he's a bad husband. Didn't even know when Miranda, when Mia was replaced. She also does everything she can to try to crush Ethan's spirit, which I think was already crushed. That's why he didn't take Heisenberg's deal. After some teleports and some shapeshifts, Miranda tells Ethan that Rose would be just fine, but will be reborn as her daughter. Then Miranda does this. Episode will end right when we get control of Chris.
Why would you ever love someone so much you give an awful? Not for expression, no. Literally give an awful. You know who the heart, you know who they are, the armor. Oh, you destroy anyone who try to harm her. What has more karma? Turns right around and bites you. Everything you stand for turns on Captain, to despite you. I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share, share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? <laughs> Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? The mission? Chris Redfield has had one mission his whole life. To find a suitable man... For Claire. And this mission keeps going on. First it was Leon. Now it's Ethan. The Redfield bloodline is going to fucking end. Alright.